NVIDIA Flex is the implementation of the particle-based dynamics. It is really interesting topic since this technology is still in development and there are a couple of research on it. For sure it will change uh, not only the look of next generation games but even the gameplay. Flex is a physics engine but not in the way how we know it, for example like bullets or physics. This is slightly different. The first difference that I want to mention is the fact that it runs on GPU. And even if you could think that uh, it doesn't deserve to be mentioned as difference, I want to do it because it for sure will change the way how the developer have to approach us to problems during the gameplay implementation. Another difference to mention is that Flex gives the possibility to simulate the physics for the particles that can be combined together to create soft bodies, rigid bodies, cloth, water, uh, smoke, etc. But why we need such technology? And the reason is not only because we are able to uh, simulate the water physics, but is even because we can simulate the soft bodies in a, a really precise way that was not possible before. But now let's start to see how we can use it inside Godot. Perfect, I have prepared a level in order to introduce you Flex in Godot. When I have implemented Flex initially, I have tried to maintain the same concept that we already have in Godot of bodies. So you can find the particle the particle body that basically is it represent the the physics body in flex let's put soft particle body what we have to do uh, is to give the shape of this body and to do it you have to add a particle body mesh instance that is a mesh instance developed uh, for flex so let's add a mesh like the sphere and now you have to uh, press this button bake particle body and by clicking clicking the other button show gizmo basically you can see uh, what uh, what is generated what is the shape of this body but let me increase this the radius of the particles in order uh, that the, the algorithm put less particles and you can see what is happening basically uh, what, what the algorithm does is to place the particles inside the mesh in order to allow flex to deform the mesh and now if I play the game what happens is that the ball is not here and why the ball is not here because there is no collision between the flex uh, the flex particle body with the ground because the ground is the is bullet is a is a bullet entity and i have to tell flex that there is the ground there and in order to do it i have to place a primitive body primitive body and you can see it like uh, a static body or a kinematic one in fact it has the same concept of static body in flex because it can't be moved or well it can be simulated by the flex engine let's put the shape inside the particle body scaling will be inherited from the pattern like all the spatial objects in Godot and now if I press F5 I can see the ball here oh but I can't interact with the ball and this is always because my kinematic player doesn't have any flex collision and again I have to add a primitive particle body this time I don't have to put a box but I want to put a capsule in this way we can see better what is a primitive body you can rotate it for example like this you can also change the dimension of the of this primitive and if i hit f5 now you can see that i can now interact with the ball 
really cool. Also, I can put another soft body. I can just duplicate this one, press F5. And now these two balls will not collide each other because by default the collision between particles uh, of the same group are disabled in flex in order to enable it i have to go in the soft particle body uh, open the collision section and put a tick here flag self collide and also here in flag self collide save play the game and now you can see that now the ball are colliding together now i want to add a primitive uh, sorry a rigid a rigid body and uh, by adding a rigid body i need to add again the mesh and this time i want to add a quad but I can add any kind of mesh, even a cylinder, uh, it's the same. Let's put here. You have to, put, to click again the bake particle model. And now you can see uh, the generated model. So since I think that there are a lot of particles, in fact you can see that there are 6000 particles, uh, uh, more or less, I think that we can change this parameter in order to spawn a bit less particles uh, yes i think that these are enough 800 particles and here we go this is a rigid body uh, as you can see this is can't be this is can be deformed like the soft one that can be deformed and also there is the the cloth the cloth here you have again you need to to put again the mesh but this time you have to put uh, a plane an opened mesh like this one and another thing that you have to do is to increase the the vertex of this of this mesh now baking again and as you can see all the particles get around the cloth and here, here we have the cloth let me add a material on this mesh in order so we can see better this cloth and one thing that is really important to do is to go in the cloth model and set rest pressure to zero because this is an opened cloth perfect as you can see now we have the cloth and another example that i can do is to create a cloth but instead this time closed i have again uh, to increase the the particles of this cloth i can leave the rest pressure to one because uh, this is a closed cloth and as you can see this is a cloth with the pressure and uh, really this is a really cool fe feature because you can increase the pressure and as and uh, as you can see it will be it will behave in this way oh i think that four is too much let's put uh, one one point five let's see what happened yes exactly another thing that is possible to do is to create a cloth a terrible cloth but i will do another video in order to show it in details now one thing that i can show is the gizmo features for example you can select all the particles in a row like this one so you can change the mass to zero and by doing so what you are doing basically uh, is that the particles will be not, not simulated anymore and will be kinematic another cool feature of flex is the wind and this can be simulated only for the cloth 
to do it, you have to go in the physics particle wo uh, world. You have to set the drag to, to something more than zero and also set the wind force. We can put one. As you can see, the, the wind is acting. If you put 10, we can pin this cloth here. And now you can see that the, the wind is acting, as you can see. Also, you can control other parameters like the lift. This give this really cool effect. Uh, and for now, that's it. I want to stop here because flex is a really huge topic. And in the next videos, I will explain what is the springs that connect the particles or the clusters, all the parameters of the soft, rigid and cloth body, how to create the water and uh, how to create also the, the shader. But for now, that's it. See you next time. Bye.